Are you tired of the same old sausage and eggs for breakfast? My Sausage and Egg Cups will deliver a handheld, flavor-packed breakfast in only 15 minutes. These versatile treats are always a crowd pleaser. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. On this channel, we teach you all about celebrating. We share recipes for food, hors d'oeuvres, cocktails, and we share entertaining tips too. Now we try and keep it all as simple as we can, especially for those of you out there who say that you just can't cook or entertain because we know you really can. So if you like this episode, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit that notification bell, and you'll get a new episode every single week. Today, our celebration is all about breakfast. We are making my sausage and egg cups. So let's get started. Sausage and egg cups, super simple, super fast, most importantly, delicious. We're gonna start with a muffin tin of all things. Here's mine. And all I did was I gave it a quick spray with some cooking spray to make sure that these little beauties come out when we're ready for them. The next step is the crust. I have some pie crust here. Now, I'll admit, this is my favorite store-bought pie crust. You can use this too. I won't tell. All I did was I took a biscuit cutter that is the same size as my muffin tin, and I cut out some circles. If you don't have a biscuit cutter or a cookie cutter, you can use a wine glass too, because that'll have a finer edge and it'll make a nice cut. So I really just need a couple more of these, and then look how easy this is. Just need three. One, two, three. Now we need to line this muffin tin. It's very, very simple. You just take a disc, put it in. It's not gonna come up all the way to the sides and that's okay. This is just the base. Here we are, all done, all lined. Now, the filling, sausage and egg. So the next step is sausage. I have here eight ounces, which weighed out to about 225 grams of loose sausage meat. All I did was I, with my impeccably clean hands, crumbled this into a frying pan and browned it up. And once it was browned, I broke it down even further. So I have little pieces like that. You don't want great big pieces. We're just going to put some in each, maybe a teaspoon or so. You could use a spoon if you wanted to, but I'll do it this way. Right in the bottom of each one. All right, next, eggs. In my little pitcher here, I have eight eggs and a splash of milk, about a tablespoon or so, a pinch of salt and pepper, and I just whisk them up until they're all beaten together and combined well. Now I'm just going to pour this into each cup. I'm not going to fill it all the way up. It'll be okay if it overlaps the crust a little bit, but we just need to fill each one about halfway. Just enough. Alrighty, almost there. Now you can cook these as is. I like to add a little cheese. I have both some shredded sharp cheese and some shredded Colby Jack. I'm going to do half and half. So half of these will get this big mound of shredded sharp cheese. Be generous. You can leave this out if you don't eat cheese. Not everyone does. You could eat some different type of cheese. You could use Swiss cheese, that would be nice. Whatever you'd like. Okay, 
Now these are ready for the oven. My oven is preheated to 400 degrees or 205 Celsius. These are going to bake for nine to 10 minutes until they're not jiggly anymore. Nothing more than that because then they'll be over baked. So here we go, off to the oven. It's been 10 minutes. I took these out of the oven, let them sit for a minute, and here they are. Look how beautiful these look. Now, to make sure they came out, I just took a little sharp paring knife too and carefully ran my knife around just to make sure. Let's take a couple of these out and see what happens. This one. Ooh. And we'll have one of these. There we go. So I've got one with sharp cheese and one with the Colby Jack. What I love about these is that you can take them in a lot of different directions. These can be made ahead of time. They store well in the fridge and they're just fun. So let's cut one of these open and give it a little taste. Ooh, gooey inside, just the way I like it. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Very good and very hot. You get that nice little brown crust on the bottom. And the egg and the cheese and that sausage in there just make this wonderful, warming, delicious bite for you. So these are my sausage and egg cups. All right, so we'll see you on Tuesdays for our regular episodes and Fridays for basic skills or cocktail days. Now, I'm gonna go have some coffee and a few more of these, and I want you to watch some of the videos over here. Cheers.